You ever loved somebody with all your heart and soul? You loved them beyond words. Well, they say that true love never dies. And this is a story about just that. This story was submitted by Meredith Hale. She said, Back when I was growing up in the hills, there was this elderly couple that lived across the road from us, named Reuben and Daisy. And they only had one son, far as I know. And bless his heart, he was killed in the war. But I reckon them poor folks, they went through a heap of things over the years. But, regardless of what it was, hardships, hard times, they always stood by one another. And Mom and Daddy said that they was married at a young age. And, what everybody else, the older folks and generation said, it was love at first sight. Said that flame never died. Said it never even flickered. So old Reuben built her house with his own two hands. Bless her heart, said Daisy, was right there beside him the whole time. She said, I recall many times thinking about just how sweet they was. Even when poor Reuben got up in his elder years, he still walked down the old gravel road there where we lived and would pick wildflowers and give to her with a little ribbon tied around him. And I remember after his poor old hands was so eat up with arthritis so he'd still sneak out of the house, pick her flowers so he'd ease by the house and he'd either have mama or one of us young'uns tie that ribbon on for him. So he was the sweetest thing ever. Said Daisy, said she'd always be sitting up there on her porch on her old support swing. Said she'd always pretend she was none the wiser. Said she'd always act so surprised and happy, like it was the first time he had ever done it for her, each and every time. Then they sit on the swing together and hold hands and talk and just watch the day go by. I remember one time, old Ruby's truck broke down. Now, I don't remember what it was exactly, and I ain't no mechanic, but I remember Daddy saying it was, it was pretty big, pretty big deal. So Daddy and some other folks, the community and the church, they all got together like the folks did back in, and they took up a collection and they had it repaired for them. I remember seeing them in stores all the time. And they'd either be beside one another, or even if one was talking to somebody, the other would be inside. And even then, they'd glance and smile at one another. Mama used to tell us stories about them. She said she remembered before I was born. She said, Reuben, got bad sick one time and was down in bed mighty high fever and it was smack dab in the bitter part of winter so Daisy bless her heart said she bundled up best she could and walked many a mile through the freezing cold up in the mountains to have a granny doctor come back down with her tend to him, doctor him, everything. So them folks, Reuben, Daisy, there's always a church and always at the prayer meetings. Said, if them church doors was open, you best believe 
they was there. They really cared for folks. They helped other folks any way and whenever they could. But, as it happens to all of us, old age seemed to take over. It got to where Reuben and Daisy couldn't hardly leave the house. Said they'd get out there the day and sit on the port swing. Well, people of the community would cut their grass. And, you know, if they needed anything done around the house, they was always there to help them. Then, as time went on, they got down in mighty bad health. Poor old Reuben, he had pneumonia. Double pneumonia, I reckon. And Daisy, bless her heart, cancer had pretty much took over. They had two beds that they had placed side by side. And again, folks of the community, my mom and daddy included, helped tend to them best they could. I'm going to never forget one evening. Mama come across the road and come home with her hands over her face to cry and rise out. She said there they laid in their beds, side by side. Said they had her poor old arms stretched out with holding hands. The poor old Reuben, he was holding Daisy's hand and talking to her. Said he'd rub the back of her hand with his thumb. Said one of the men slipped out and went down there and picked her some flowers. Tied a little ribbon around it. Said when he come back in, he had him behind his back. Said he told Miss Daisy to close her eyes. Said when she did, he handed them down there to Reuben. Said Reuben took them and grinned at him and nodded with a tear in his eye. So old Reuben looked over at her and said, all right, honey, open her. So when she did, he handed her them flowers. Lord, Mama says she took them flowers, took them in her hand there, said she pulled them tied up to her chest, said so laid her head back on the pillar Said a tear rolled down her frail old face. Said Daisy looked over at Reuben and said, I love you. Said Reuben smiled and said, I love you too. And she was gone. Said still holding her hand, the poor old Reuben said, It's okay, don't fret, honey. Don't fret. I'm right behind you. So he sat there and held her hand. And Mama said within just a few minutes, Reuben was gone too. The holler seemed to be mighty lonesome the next few days. It just different. It had changed. And I remember they had a double funeral. And I never seen the like of the people come to pay their respects. She said, Jared, I remember in one of your older videos, you said in the mountains and the hills and stuff, you said it always seemed to rain during a funeral or a burial because them old trees would bow their heads and the mountains was crying. Well, I can tell you, it flooded during that funeral. That day, the mountains sure did cry. Many of folks, my family and myself included, would see glimpses of Reuben and Daisy on the porch from time to time, on that old porch swing holding hands. A sign that true love never dies. A few months later, somebody bought that land and come in there and tear that old house down. With a shame indeed, and nobody there in the holler liked it. But Daddy and the elder said 
ain't nothing we can do about it. But when I look back and still think back some days, think about them, I like to think that somewhere they're still swinging and holding hands.